Hi guys, it's me, Bren B, Bookishly B. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I wanted to do a video of five reasons why you should read one of my favorite series right now and that is the Puppy War series by RF Guang. So before I get into that, I will kind of tell you a little bit about what this first book is about. This series follows our main character, Ren. In the first book, she is a poor girl who is a foster child of this opium dealer in a poor area of the country. She is trying to get out of this marriage her foster parents are trying to push her into, and so she tests to get into one of the most prestigious military academies in her world. She gets in. And the first half of this book is a school fantasy ride where she is learning about the world and maybe a little bit of magic. And the second half kind of takes a massive turn into the grimdark territory where this whole series kind of lays and follows her as she goes to war. And the second book falls from the devastating events at the end of this first one. So let's talk a little bit about five reasons why you should read this series if you haven't yet and why I love this series and these books so, so much. And I think they're so good and worth the hype. The first one is the world building. This world is based off of historical China and real events that happened and analogies to real groups of people and real events. Poppy War is based off the Sino-Japanese War and things that happened in China because of that and major events that happen traumatizing events that happen. The second book has a lot of that as well. There are groups of people that come into this country that are not from this country who seek to birth them to their religion. Um, maybe it's a little bit like colonialism. I will leave that up to your interpretation. It definitely is, but you know, <laughs> to each their own. And I love that about this book. I love that it doesn't shy away from the fact that these historical events imply this. It really kind of makes you confront that and gives you a space to think about what that means to you, what that means to the world, and all of that kind of stuff. Another thing going back to that world building is just that the this world seems so concrete and I think that's because our Huang uses a lot of historical analogies and so it really feels like this is like a completed thought that she has gone into a lot of detail about what this means and how it impacts these characters for really long periods of time and how it impacts the world for a long period of time and I think that's amazingly well done and something I think that a lot of authors shy away from in more European centric fantasies in my opinion. And the second thing that I love about the series is the battle scenes. This is a very war heavy series. If you don't like war based fantasy this is not the series for you. If you don't like grim dark fantasy this is not the series for you. This series makes you face to face with the, the horrible horrible things that happen in war, the traumatizing things, the gory things, Kuang doesn't shy away from any of that. And her battle scenes are just so wonderfully strategic and feel real. Like they are so detailed and make you feel like you're there. They're chaotic. Everyone gets hurt. No one is safe. And I really love that because in a lot of fantasy that I tend to read and that I tend to see is that a lot of that is just kind of glossed over and everything's wrapped up in a pretty little bow. And that is not a thing in the series. There's no pretty little bow in the poppy war at all. There is pain and death and suffering and sometimes friendship. And there you go. <laughs> that, that's that. Speaking of friendship, the third thing that I love is the characters, the relationship and their character development individually. The characters in this book feel real and feel like they could jump off the page. Their development is real and they go through a lot of <laughs> shit in their lives. For example, Ren, our main character. She goes from this foster child who her foster parents hate to not uh, well received in her school to someone who has a lot of power in the war and who has to navigate what that means and doesn't like the power and she gets addicted to drugs and just everything. She goes from 1 to 10 to 0 to 10. Like she goes everywhere and everything feels believable. RF Kuang really just delivers on making her character development seem real and isn't afraid to totally drag her down to be a zero and build her back up again and I love that. 
not shying away from hurting our main characters is something that I appreciate in fantasy because so often I feel like our main characters are far too safe and in this series no one's safe. No one. There's literally no one ever safe. Everyone gets hurt. Everyone almost dies. And then again, another thing that I love about the characters is their relationships. Rin, our main character, has such genuine friendships and relationships with people that have just such heartwarming heartwarming moments, but also emotionally painful moments when there are betrayals, when they don't trust her, when she is not a good leader. There are big implications that happen with that, and I love that those feel so real, and they feel like real relationships based off of the events that are happening. You know, that there are things that happen that impact our relationships a ton, and that's not something I feel like is so clearly explained in a ton of fantasy and I love that that's not shied away from here. Speaking of not shying away from stuff, this book does not shy away from the hard stuff at all and it, partially because it's a grimdark fantasy but I think partially just because of the way that Kwong writes. You know there is so much in some war-based fantasy or some other fantasies that's really just kind of glossed over. You know characters survive, characters aren't always in harm's way but no Kwong puts them in harm's way and forces you to face the hard stuff because it's a chance for the reader to learn and experience through these characters. And I love that about the series. I love that Kwong makes us confront those things, makes us look at those things, and causes you to really think about those because you care about those characters so much. The bad things that happen to them you really care about and you have to get confronted with yourself. And finally, one of the last reasons why it kind of ties all of that together, but the stakes feel so high, and they always feel high. There is not a dull moment in this series. There is not a part that kind of lags behind. It feels like you are at a 10 out of 10 level of excitement and anticipation and fear the whole time you're reading this, which is both a good and a bad thing, but Art Kwong really takes you there, grips you, and doesn't let you go. These characters could be harmed at any moment. They are in a middle of a war that they all are very involved in and that is very dangerous. There are people experimenting on other people, there are people betraying other people, dumpling scenes happen in the Dragon Republic, which I will never look at dumplings the same way again. It is just a little bit of everything and the stakes just get higher and higher. I think in the poppy world the stakes are super high and you cannot believe that there, there are places that the series can go, but then the Dragon Republic is like, eh, we can take the stakes way higher and things just get crazier and crazier and I think the Dragon Republic is a flawless follow-up to the Poppy War and in fact I think it's better. I think that if you had problems reading the Poppy War you will love the Dragon Republic even more because the character relationships just go through so much and they are so pure. Some of Rin and her friends they're just heartwarming to read about and you're so glad that these characters and their relationships exist in this world. You know, you really feel those stakes and you feel that emotional impact in ways that I think a lot of fantasy isn't necessarily doing right now. Guang makes her world and these characters, everything I talked about this in this video, feel really real and have a lot of emotional impact for you, the reader, in ways that make you want to learn about these historical analogies and these real life events that happened in ways that you really learn how grim and dark this world is and you have that emotional buy-in to the story. So I love this series. I think everybody should read it and there are lots of reasons why but that's just kind of my top five and if you like this series please tell me about it talk to me about it because there is so much to talk about in this world and in the series and things that happen to our characters that this just kind of skins the surface. But I hope you pick up the Poppy War and especially the Dragon Republic and you read it and you love it and I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon. Bye.